Hi friends, got a short travel story for you this morning. In order to put my Jeep into towing mode to tow behind my motorhome, there are 14 steps and one of them is disconnect the battery, which I didn't do the first time I towed it. And guess what? I had a dead battery. So of course I'm old school. What I did, I jerked out the old uh, jumper cables and uh, went and talked to my friends whose driveway I was parked in and it turned out that there wasn't room to get any of his vehicles up to my battery because I was still hooked to the motorhome. Anyway, he brought out a jump starter, which was kind of a new thing to me and it made me interested in them. Guess what? A company contacted me and said, hey, you want to try out our jump starter? It came in the mail today. Let's go see what we got. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. How's Lynn this morning? Lynn's fine. Okay, this is good. I got something in the mail today. Look at here. Oh, you're wearing your shoes. Yeah. Hey, good idea. More to that story later. Here it is. And by the way, I did put in a switch in my uh, Jeep so that when I tow it, it doesn't run my battery down anymore. But you never know when that's going to happen. I accidentally leave the lights on or something. Oh, Top Gun JS3000. Top Gun JS3000. Jump starter. Seven safety protection measures. Short circuit, reverse polarity over temperature, over voltage, over current, reverse charge, over discharge. Protection. DC output for car electronics, navigator, fridge, vacuum, air purifier, tire inflator. It will also uh, quick charge your phone to from 0 to 80% in 30 minutes. Has an LED ultra bright light, light up the sky, serves as a flashlight, SOS, or a strobe light. It will jump start a, a gasoline engine to 9 liters. My Jeep is 3.7 liters. Um, my van at home is 5.3 liters, so a very capable jump starter. Or 7 liters diesel. Now, the diesel I'm sitting in is 8.3, so that might be a challenge. But, hey, it'll start your truck, start your car, start your boat. Oh, nice case. Top done. Ah, well, it has some heft to it which would be an indication to me that probably capable of doing the job is advertised. Got a nice carry handle. Rubber plug there for some connections. Another rubber plug there for some connections. <laughs> More connections. Um, some kind of a support thing to maybe hold it up when... Oh, there's some lights. It says it comes 75% charged. Hmm. What else do we have here? Oh, the jumper cables, of course. An instruction manual. You know what? I'm going to read this so that I know what I'm talking about and get back to you. 
Well, I think I got it figured out. Uh, in the box, we got the battery pack, of course, an adapter for uh, 110 volts to USB, a USB cable, which I think is going to work uh, both in and out for a bunch of the connections it has, and the battery clip alligator clips. And they are substantial. Good. You never know when you're going to need to clip an alligator. I think the most important part here that I read was all of the different things that it will do in terms of the different connections and plugs that it has. Uh, the battery capacity is 24,000 milliamps and the peak current is 3,000. Uh, USB 1, USB 2, and they do 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps, or 12 volts at 1.5 amps. It has a DC output, maximum 16.6 .6 volts at 10 amps. Uh, type C output and Type C input, and those are all of the standard uh, amperages. Uh, operating temperature from way cold, 40 degrees below centigrade, 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 Fahrenheit. Um, storage temperature, you can store it from minus four degrees to 167 degrees. That's good, because wow. I'll bet it gets 167 degrees in my Jeep sometime, and that's where it's gonna be. And speaking of all of those different things, I'm sure it's gonna charge my phone, it's gonna charge my battery, I have a, a portable power supply, but they didn't call it a camera charger. They called it a jump starter. Let's go see if it'll jump my Jeep. So for this test of the JS3000 from Top Don, I have disconnected the positive cable of my battery. So my Jeep currently has no battery other than the JS3000. I've hooked the positive alligator clip to the positive cable and the negative to the negative cable. And uh, the boost is on, 75% uh, battery capacity. Let's go see if it'll start. That worked real good. Found a couple more things in the owner's manual. Uh, frequently asked questions. How many times can the jump start Surge 3000 jump start a car with a full charge? Up to 45 times. How long does it take to fully charge the jump start Jump Surge 3000. It varies uh, depending on the adapter. The adapter that comes with it will charge it up in about six hours. It turns itself off after 10 seconds without operation. Yep, sure enough. And it has a 12 month warranty and an 833 toll free number for customer service. It's gonna be a part of my off-roading Jeep equipment. I know I'm gonna get this question. No, you do not need to disconnect your battery in your car to use the jump starter. That's only for this test because I don't have a dead battery to test, so I tested it with no battery. So just out of curiosity, I decided to see how many things I could charge at the same time. I don't recommend doing this, but just for a test, I thought it would be fun. I am running headphones, uh, video camera, I'm charging, iPhone, uh, uh, batteries for my Acaso uh, action camera, my headlamp, is that going? Yeah, um, two fans, my iPad, lens Kindle, and uh, I just ran out of things to plug in. 
like I said, I don't really recommend this. Now, I actually tried hooking an inverter up to the boost cables, you know, the jumper cables. But uh, the boost will only go for about 10 seconds and then it shuts itself off. So uh, that's a protection for not overusing it. But I'm, uh, I'm impressed. <laughs> Again, I, I don't recommend doing this at home. And obviously, you only get one little cable with the JS3000. We've all got lots of cables, however. Uh, there is one thing. There's a plug-in right here for 12 volts out. Of all the cables I have, I don't have a 12-volt out plug. I've got lots of 12-volt in plugs, you know, 110 to charge a 12-volt thing. I don't, uh, I'm not even aware of that. Seems like that's something that uh, they need to figure out. Also, the Type-C plugins, I'm not using any of those. I'm only using the USB ports. And again, Type-C, I've got a lot of Type-C connections that charge something, but I don't have any Type-C connection that draws out of a Type-C to go somewhere else. You need a Type-C to a Type-C, um, you know, mail to mail. And um, of all the wires I have, and believe me, this is not a representative sample of my collection. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's a couple of things that I haven't figured out. And again, don't do this. You've got the cables to charge a couple of things at a time. No problem. I knew I was missing something when I was talking about all the different things I'm running there. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the one I was missing is this light. I'm running that light. That's number 10. Oh, and speaking of light, let's try this. It's pretty bright. And then strobe slower flash and off well after charging up 10 things and starting my car twice I charged it it's fully charged now it took about three hours to go from 50% to full and I uh, figured out something else too turn on the light it's got this hook back here so you could uh, hang it up like maybe in your tent or a trouble light if you're working on your car. I'm liking it better all the time. Anyway, if your battery runs down, whether it's your car or your camera, <laughs> don't call me. Get your own. Look for a deal down there in the description. And thanks for watching today. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.